Yuchin Doji and work as the president of Samsi College of Education. As the uh, president of the college uh, and as someone who was uh, involved in the initial development of this uh, project proposal uh, with the colleagues and friends from Tata Institute of Social Sciences uh, in Mumbai, India. I've been working as the country lead for this uh, connected uh, learning initiative for STEM uh, project. Uh, the CL4 STEM project is uh, run by three uh, partner institutions, uh, namely the Open University of Tanzania and Ibrahim uh, Badamasi Babangida University Lapai in Nigeria and Samsi College of Education uh, with the Tata Institute of Social Sciences in Mumbai, India as the international consultant. Uh, this project is funded by the International uh, Development Research Center uh, in Canada and primarily aims to develop the technological, pedagogical content and knowledge TPAC in short and strategies for inclusion for middle and secondary school teachers uh, teaching the three sciences uh, and mathematics uh, in the respective uh, consortium, consortium partner countries. Uh, initially, we had planned to implement uh, the activities of this project uh, in selected uh, representative uh, secondary schools across the whole country here in Bhutan. Uh, but due to the COVID-19 restrictions, uh, the activities of the CL4 STEM project uh, in Bhutan had to be implemented only in the secondary schools under Samsi Zongkarpla. This project is also a project that is a good typical example of a South-South collaboration where all the consortium partners uh, are developing countries from the global South. Uh, as the country lead uh, for this project here at Samsi College of Education, I advise the country coordinators uh, and the uh, CL for STEM project members of the college uh, in the overall planning and implementation of the project activities in the college and collaborating schools uh, under Samsi Zongkarpla. The main objective of the project is to support the professional development of secondary school STEM teachers in enhancing their content knowledge using technology and inclusive pedagogies in order to promote quality STEM education, equity and inclusion in their classroom practices. The teacher's professional development was supported through subject-specific open educational resources or OER and other pedagogy workshops. The use of OER is the first of its kind in Bhutan and it's a proven approach to promoting equitable, inclusive and quality professional development. The OERs are aligned with the national curricula framework and tailored to local context and needs of secondary levels and were vetted by project consortium members and consultants several times. Since SCE is directly responsible for supporting STEM subjects and ICT education in secondary schools, the project activities will complement the efforts of improving the quality of STEM education and integrating ICT into school education. Likewise, the project will also support the realization of His Majesty's vision for STEM education as articulated in the Royal Casu on Education Reform. Due to the COVID protocol at the time, the study was limited to Samchi Jongkap and the project supported the professional development of 40 secondary in-service and 43 pre-service STEM teachers. Um, CL for STEM is designed to enable uh, teachers uh, develop their professional abilities using open educational resources to bring powerful science and maths learning into the classroom. Uh, and this is really the goal of, of the project, to use open educational resources, to use education technology meaningfully, and to enable teachers to use understanding of pedagogical content knowledge, as well as inclusive education, to improve the quality of transaction in science and maths classrooms of high school. This is an important goal for the 21st century. Um, all students need to have opportunities for higher order thinking. Every child needs to be integrated into the schooling system and the education should support students to think critically, uh, solve problems, understand concepts and gain self-confidence. And in that way, this project is well aligned to what the 21st century needs.
this project has been a very exciting and ambitious project. Uh, it's a project conceived from the Global South, catering to the needs of the Global South, led by partners from the Global South. Uh, and in this project, through the quality of our collaboration, through the dedication that every partner in this project has demonstrated, I think we have shown uh, the power of a Global South initiative and uh, the, what good collaborations can achieve. Uh, and I think this collaborative experience has been deeply satisfying to everybody uh, in the project itself. Uh, and I think that this is going to be what we're going to carry forward. I think the spirit of the work that we have done together and the new opportunities that it has opened up, uh, these are things that definitely, I think even beyond the second phase, uh, we'll take forward. And I think all these uh, marvelous relationships that we have built, uh, they will form a very strong foundation. I hope more faculty will interact with each other across the institutes. Maybe we will get our students to visit each other across our institutes. Uh, I'm sure we'll find ways to do all these things. I find the project important for two reasons. One, this is uh, as far as I know, uh, the first instance of uh, Global South-South collaboration for uh, STEM TPD and uh, two, we were able to collaboratively come up with uh, solutions that are very unique in our country context and uh, I, I think going by what we heard uh, today and earlier in Nigeria, the project has been able to achieve quite a little bit of what uh, we had uh, ventured uh, when we had conceptualized. So primarily in terms of localizing the resources, in terms of uh, making available uh, materials for uh, teachers that expounds the content in a way that uh, they are able to uh, grasp and understand easily and also provide them with uh, the pedagogical content knowledge that is required to teach specific topics to uh, students in the secondary school grades. Uh, Bhutan team, I mean, we, we were always surprised, pleasantly surprised that we would really be in very nervous about, oh, things are not coming, things are not coming, things are not happening. And then suddenly out of the blue, everything will be done and given to us, which was very, very pleasant uh, surprise. We are from such diverse cultures, all of us, you know, um, the Nigerians, the Tanzanians, Indians, Bhutanese people. Um, but the way we have come together as a team is also something that I really cherish in this project. In terms of similarities, I would say listening to teachers from Bhutan remind me both as a student but also as now a teacher and a program officer in terms of managing a project. So both contexts are very, very similar from, you know, limited infrastructure, meaning there are few computers in some schools. Some schools do not even see computers or see, com you know, students also do not own smartphones. All these are common. But regardless, what I see in all of us as Bhutan, Nigeria, Tanzania, and even India, is that we become more creative. We are able to do so much even with the limited resources we have. So, uh, yeah, the UDL, uh, Universal Design uh, for Learning, which basi basically um, uh, emphasizes on the issue of, for example, multiple representation of the of the of the knowledge that is being uh, imparted and therefore uh, giving possibility uh, to different learners uh, to be able to to have the possibility uh, of internalizing um, in a different way um, and therefore uh, bringing the inclusion inclusion and equity uh, in our in our education this project uh, has enhanced the capacity building of teachers uh, we have observed teachers are very uh, enthusiastic in learning and then they are uh, actively involved. And we have also seen this project has uh, enhanced the students developing their uh, leadership skills in enhancing the STEM subjects. And then it also helped uh, teachers to improve 
the STEM uh, in the field of uh, school curriculum. So what I have uh, observed is like uh, our teachers have been introduced to different teaching learning strategies in terms of this uh, science and <clears throat> we have uh, seen that uh, teachers competency in terms of uh, right from planning the lesson has been enhanced and uh, they have been introduced to different teaching learning strategies so that they're able to make this teaching learning of science interesting meaningful and gainful the college uh, project team is especially pleased to report that the project has had a transformative impact on the professional development of secondary stem teachers across the partner countries with participating teachers reporting significant improvement in their uh, teaching practices as well as renewed knowledge skills and enthusiasm for stem education as per national media reports, uh, our students are not performing well in STEM subjects and after implementing this project, our fervent belief is that students taught by the teachers whose professional development has been supported by this project might not say that they don't like studying physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics anymore. If we look back uh, to the Connected uh, Learning Initiative for STEM, which is called the CL4 STEM in short term, and the different activities of the project implemented in the last three years since 2020, 2021. You will see that all the activities we have carried out as part of this project aligns and syncs perfectly with the iSHARIC 1 and iSHARIC 2 through areas of iABLED, iBuild and iConnect. I would like to strongly believe that the knowledge and skills of our own STEM TJ educators in the college have improved through the series of ICT capacity building workshops and courses facilitated by the experts of the Center of Education in Teacher, Center of Excellence in Teacher Education uh, at the Tata Institute of Social Sciences in Mumbai in India, who have served as uh, the international consultant for this project. Thing to happen, then this project which in every aspect carry the DNA or the genetic makeup of the current reform and transformation we are seeing in our education system. We are hopeful that the legacy of this project will live long in the history of Bhutan STEM education as a forerunner in the development of STEM related OERS based on our own school curriculum. There has been strong support from all the successive uh, politically elected governments uh, in the country to make our educational practices relevant, uh, current, uh, effective and meaningful to suit the changing needs of the country. All we need to do is pull together our efforts uh, and limited resources where all the key stakeholders of education come together to work collaboratively as a team and give our best to achieve our vision of building our world-class education and unleash the best versions of our children for a happier and secure Bhutan. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share about this project. Karinche.